Calling from a uh, 510 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hey, Sam. Yes. Yeah, hi. So um, I called yesterday and I was, you know, talking about going to the event with Dave Rubin. So I did go to the event. I wanted to give you some, you know, talk about what happened. Uh, So let me just cover like three things as quickly as I can. Okay. So when I got there, okay, there were uh, Libertarian Party people tabling there at the event. And there was a guy who was trying to get signatures so that he could run for governor. And his name was like Robert Griffiths or something like that. So this guy, he was, his plan was to run as a Democrat, but actually be a libertarian. And what, and this was his pitch to us. So he said, okay, you should vote for me because what I'm going to do is I'm going to default on the bonds of California so that we can cut taxes. Okay. So that, that was, that was the setup to this whole thing. Now, wait a second. Okay, Let me so just ask you this. Event, one second. Let yeah. me just ask you one thing. Uh, Dave <laughs> yeah. Rubin is yeah. known for, um, uh, supposedly, for hearing all sides. Was there just libertarian tables there? There was, yeah. There was no other table now, other than libertarians. Absolutely To not. be fair, uh, <laughs> tell us who the sponsor of this event was. The sponsor of the event was the Ayn Rand Institute. Okay, so the Ayn Rand Institute, yeah. that's why there was just libertarian tables there. This is Dave Rubin, yeah. the, the classical liberal, or I think he's like what he calls The himself. classical the, liberal, The yeah. last liberal is what he calls himself. But, the, uh, the, yeah, the, last, okay. the only liberal on earth, Dave Rubin. Okay, so uh, it's sponsored by okay. a libertarian organization, undoubtedly backed by the Koch brothers. Um, somebody can Google that yeah. for me, but go ahead. And uh, so what else did you notice? Yeah. Okay, so the event starts, Dave is basically hosting, and he starts off with a terrible, like, comedy set. It was horrible. Um, to be so fair, no, 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 hold on. Let me just, now let me just, excuse me. I just want to make sure, because this is something that we're probably going to clip, because it's important that people understand about Dave Rubin. If you could, because out of respect, um, I don't uh, know your sense of humor. Perhaps Dave Rubin is funny. Uh-huh. Uh, so let's just stick uh-huh. to the facts. Let's not think about. Um, okay. let's, <laughs> let's not think about the actual, um, the the notion that um, you know uh, that you're you're being a subjective analysis of his comedy. It could have been very funny. Please continue. Sure, sure, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, so the speakers were they had some guy from the Iron Rand Institute. And they had this other speaker, Heather McDonald. I don't know if you know who she is. She wrote this book, The War on Cops. Basically, her whole thing is that the problem with police in the United States isn't that the cops are over-policing or are militarized. It's that black people are criminals and that it's, it's the black people's fault, not the cops' fault. Interesting. So, yeah. Is it? Very interesting. So at, at some point, she goes into this weird monologue about uh she she talked about slavery and then she talks about this event where uh pro-slavery people attacked abolitionists because they were trying to speak out against slavery and she compared the pro-slavery people to antifa okay she (laughs) all right so after after the end i actually got to ask him my question I, i didn't ask him the question that you wanted me to ask. I actually asked the question that I kind of called in to ask because it was a free speech event and it didn't, you know, I, I didn't want to bring up anything on an economic basis. Okay. And um, basically well, he, he, all what he was said the question? Was, um, Tell us the question. To, Tell us the question. Yeah. So actually what I, I wanted to ask a different question, but I, I just started off by saying, Hey Dave, I'm a really big fan of yours. I was one of your first subscribers. I subscribed to you on Patreon, but I became very disappointed in you because you started having on a lot of right-wing people and a lot of like nutty people like Mike Cernovich. Um, and then we kind of got into a, to a debate with one another and he was like, oh, well, you don't, obviously you don't really like my show. And I was like, well, no, I actually did like your show at first. And your show kind of devolved into something that was like a far flung from what it was when you first started it. Um, yeah. And then he, he asked me like, Oh, could you name three crazy people that I've had? And you know, I, I haven't watched any of his stuff in a while. So I didn't need, I just named Mike Cernovich and then kind of moved on. Right. Um, yeah. So, but what's the most interesting thing was, so I, um, 
uh, that night. Well, what's the I question that you asked him? What's the question that you asked him? Oh, that was it. I just, I just told him I was disappointed in you. Oh, okay. And I think that you should have on some. I think you should have on Sam Cedar. I think you should. I think the words I said was you should stop ducking Sam Cedar. You should have on ContraPoints and you should have and on Destiny. What did he so say? That, about, that was my, what did my he point. say in response to that? He he said nothing. He just he he kind of just moved on. He talked about people he was interviewing. He talked about interviewing David Frum and some other people he said were progressive. Or David whatever. Frum. Yeah. And wow. David Frum, yeah. the speechwriter yeah. for George Dave. W. Bush. Yeah, but that 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 yeah. that, that <laughs> is a thing. It's 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 disingenuous nonsense from Dave Rubin. What a shock! But we can blame the, yeah, the Mick well, resistance for David that, Frum. That may be the case, but I mean, nevertheless, the taxonomy, uh, though yeah. he may be appreciated by um, by anti-Trumpers, uh, the taxonomy of David Frum has not changed. But um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So, so uh, what else did you want to? Yep. Yeah, so one last thing. So they the the video streamed on his channel. And that night I looked up his the video and I actually saw my question. And a lot of people were actually talking about it in the comments section, but what's funny is that from that video he removed the Q&A. So if you go on that video right now, the Q&A is not there. So maybe he'll upload it later, I don't know. But no, wait a second. Wait a second. It, wait a second. This is this is a serious charge you're making because this is a free speech forum. Dave Rubin <laughs> champions free speech, and you're telling me that he's cut out the Q and A. Um, the Q and A is gone. Maybe, maybe he did this because he wants to release it as another video. But it is weird. To yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The whole thing's not available. huh? The whole thing seems to be down. That may be. To be fair. Oh. He may be uh, he may be um, uh, recutting it to put it somewhere else, or yeah. he may have a problem yeah. with the Ayn Rand um, uh, Foundation. They are a five hundred one c three. Maybe there was some concern about what they were up to. That's very interesting. But um, all right, there it is. Yeah. Uh, Dave Rubin, um, supported by the Libertarian organization Ayn Rand uh, thing. And look, I want to be clear. Anybody can be supported by anybody. It's just that you got to ask yourself, why would the Ayn Rand uh, Foundation support a so-called liberal? Mm. Appreciate the call. Yeah. Thank and you very much. For anyone yeah. who's not watching the video, yeah. Matt just put up the links to the Koch brothers on the screen. There you go. And we should say, as a uh, 501c3 nonprofit, they probably... Uh, an associate member of the State Policy Network, they don't necessarily even have to show uh, where all their money can come from. So, uh, is that uh, deductible or not? I, I think if I think it is. Oh, it's good. a C three. It's deductible. 